Welcome back to the GFOILS channel. In this video, I'll update you on the 3D printed surfboard. In part one of this series, I showed you how to design a blank with Aku Shaper. Then I sent the files to Laurent and he cut them into 3D printable pieces. I sent those pieces to my printer and printed them out. I glued them together, added some fin boxes and a leash plug, and then it was time to laminate the whole board and test it out in the shitty waves of the North Sea. The board served quite okay, but the conditions were pretty shitty to test a new board. In the meantime, I served it some more, some bad things happened, and I'm gonna update you now. After the first serve, I found some droplets inside. Not again. So now I have to look for the leak. Here I try to explain to you guys that the uh, water is only in the right side of the board, only this part that I'm pointing at now. But the audio decided to cut out. So I'm trying to find the leak in this board that caused the water to come in. So I decided to put it in the sun to heat it up from the inside and then look for bubbles with some soap and water. Found it. There's a very tiny piece over here. You can see it blowing these bubbles up. And I heard it squeaking. Now that we're busy doing this with the soap, I'm gonna test if the breathing leash plug works as well. So as you see, I put some soapy water in the leash plug and you can definitely see some movement. Air escaping through the Gore-Tex membrane. So that's working great. So now it's time for me to fix the leak. I'll show you in this quick montage how I did it. I think the images explain the process. I cut a hole in the board, added some fiberglass with epoxy, then sanded it down, added some epoxy, and then I did a lot of sanding off camera to get it all smooth and see through as the rest. Now it's time to take this fixed board on a surf trip to France to really put it to the test. As you can see the board does surf, but it doesn't look as light and nimble as I look normally on my boards. First of all, I'm not a great surfer at all, but normally I look a little bit more lighter on my feet and the board looks better or more pointy or something. I was struggling a lot with finding enough grip for my back foot, so maybe that is also an issue. You can see in this next clip that I can't put this board on rail because I'm lacking grip. I have the feeling that normally I use a little bit more of my rail than this. This is almost flat surfing. So the first thing I'm gonna do when I get home is rip the hexagons off from the Van der Waal grip and replace them with a foot pad in the back. 
Here you can see my signature move pumping down the line and trying to do a wrapping cutback but somehow the bottom turn fails. My bottom turn is almost in the middle of the wave but somehow my bottom turn fails and I can't even get the board turned on the other side of the rail. It was a great feeling though to serve this handmade board in some real Atlantic swell but it doesn't perform how I wanted it to so there's a lot of improvements to be made. And maybe you can help me with improving this board. I got a lot of comments and a lot of views on the first video about this board and a lot of people seemed to know a lot about 3D designing. So this is a message for those people. If you want to help me to redesign this board to make it lighter and more strong in the frame version without glossing so that I can use less layers of fiberglass to keep it light and keep it strong as well. If you want to help download the files in the description and make it your own version. If you can make sure that I can print it in my Prusa or my Bamboo Lab printer, then I will print your version and test it to see if it works better than this version. Thanks a lot for all the comments and the views on the first video and thanks again for watching and hopefully somebody will reach out with another version that I can print. See you later! And if you stayed all the way to the end, you have a great opportunity to buy this board. I'm trying to clear some space and I'm selling this first 3D printed board. It's not surfable because the ribs are way too weak, but maybe someone wants to use it as a piece of art to hang in their living room. Let me know if you're interested. Bye!